Good, you made it. We have a difficult task ahead of us. There you are, young wizard. When you opened the spiral door to Dragon Spire, I took the opportunity to scry ahead. This is as close as I can come for the time being. Malastare will most certainly sense my presence should I enter Dragon Spire, endangering all we hope to accomplish. Most of the gates and portals are blocked or otherwise impassable. You may now access the outer ring. From there, you must open the gate to the next ring. A library is on the other side of this portal. Go there and discover what answers you can. Oh, hello there. I don't believe I've seen a living being in quite a long time. Ah, so you wish to explore the scenic world of Dragonspire. It's a beautiful place, don't you think? What's that? Oh my, it's in ruins, I forgot. My apologies. I feel as if I just awakened from a long sleep. Most of the gates into Dragonspire have been shut down by the Dragon Titan's army, but perhaps we can find a way for you to get in. We have a saying here. When in doubt, turn to the Knowledge Crystal. The Knowledge Crystal should have the answers. It's right over there. Use it and come back when you've got your answer. The crystal starts to glow and intones the portal gates of Dragonspire. Auric Blazeburner created the portal gates to defend Dragonspire from outside enemies. Only a portal stone can open a gate. All students and faculty of Dragonspire Academy are issued portal stones by the Stone Keeper. Oh yes, I remember now. Auric Blazeburner was quite a powerful enchanter. He made the portal gates and the portal stones to get through them. If you're looking for a portal stone, you might check Holger's old tower. It's fairly close. I haven't been there in years, but there were portal stones piled up all over the place. Who is it? Show yourself! Come closer, yes. I am but a lowly servant of the great dragon Titan. He is gone from this world. The Necromaster is not fit to lick the dragon Titan's claws. But he forces me to work from the top of the main tower. We have something in common. An enemy. You want to get into the tower, and I know how. First, we must activate the crystal atop each tower. That will open the portal to the main tower. Each tower is locked, so you must retrieve the keys. The first tower key is held by the loathsome creepers nearby. Go! Yes, that's it. But there is more, sad to say. This tower key only opens the door to the first tower. You must activate the crystal at the top to open the portal to the main tower. Go! Activate the crystal inside the tower. Then, I will tell you how to reach the main tower. You activate the crystal, and it shimmers to life. You have done well, wizard. But we are not finished. There is more still. We has begun, and are on the way to freedom, yes. The first of four towers is completed. I did not tell you it was so many because I feared you would leave me enslaved. A former <laughs> inhabitant of Dragon Spire occupies the next tower. She fears me, but would welcome you. Speak to the wizard therein, and get the tower key. How did you get here? You're no member of the Dragon Titan's army, are you? You must have come for the tower key, right? I don't have it on me, but I know where it is. Unfortunately, the way there is too dangerous for me to show you. I haven't been able to go anywhere because of the monsters. Do me a favor, and I'll help you out. Please go and defeat some monsters, then return here. Then I'll tell you where the tower key might be. Thank you for your help. 
You've made this area a safer place. The tower key is in my desk drawer over there. Be careful out there. You find the tower key in the desk drawer. The tower key, yes. The draconian reaches for it, but you keep it from him. What did the nasty wizard say about me? Do not believe her. You are the mighty wizard. Without the dragon titan, I am a lowly servant of the necromaster. I want to be free. The key is in your hands. Go. Activate the crystal on top of the second tower. You activate the crystal, and it shimmers to life. See? You have all the power. I do not lie. I helps you do good. The Necromaster commands one of the wizards of this world. He has the third key. He is not so pleasant to deal with. You need to defeat him to steal the key. You're the sneaky one to have gotten this far. Now you'll wish you'd snuck away while you had the chance. See? I told you that I was your friend. That wizard, he was crazy. You have done good taking the third key. Now we can be friends, right? You have nothing to fear from me. No enemy can enter the city from outside, and the enemies here are trapped. Enter the tower and activate the crystal. Soon you shall reach the main tower and defeat the Necromaster. You activate the crystal, and it shimmers to life. Yes, I knew you would prove useful to defeat the Necromaster, of course. The last key fell from the sky, somewhere in the street, clutched by a drake. I could not look for it out of fear of the Necromaster. Search the streets by the broken tower until you find the key. We are so close. You have found the last key. Soon. Yes. You does a great deed, mighty wizard. Activate the crystal on top of the fourth tower. The great portal on the center platform opens to the main tower. Fight your way to the main office. You will get what you worked for. You activate the crystal and it shimmers to life. Stupid wizard! Should have listened to your best judgment after all. I'll remember you when I sit on the throne of Dragon Spire. You defeated him? Good show there. I'm Auric Blazeburner. I built this place. I was rooting for you, but couldn't do anything to help. Not that you needed any assistance. Ha! What a system I designed. With one fatal flaw. It kept enemies out, but for those summoned inside the city. We had all these gates, but were defenseless. If you still want a portal stone, the stonekeeper should have one. I've been out of touch for too long. You must ask someone else where to find him. The stonekeeper? Oh yes, the keepers not only kept the stones, but the spirits of our greatest allies and even our worst foes. The Stonekeeper should be in the Plaza of Conquest these days. That's where we stored all the crystals and where we speak to them for guidance. 
Go there. He'll surely be happy to help you. The Stonekeeper was in the Plaza of Conquest just as the Titan's army reached the Outer Ring. Whatever has awakened our spirits must have woken him as well. Go speak to Laszlo Starblane in the Plaza of Conquest to find the Portal Stone. You. You want a Portal Stone. Real. Yes, I am the Stonekeeper. You know what that means? It means I'm responsible for keeping the Portal Stones out of the hands of our enemies. You might have recommendations from all manner of dignitaries, but mere words are not enough to convince me. I'll need more to go on before I give you a portal stone. We have a long and distinguished history here in Dragonspire and can't let any riffraff get access to our academy. You must demonstrate your worthiness. Go, speak with Xana Fireflower elsewhere in the Plaza of Conquests. If she gives your recommendation, we'll speak more. Stand up straight, soldier. You need a recommendation? I reserve the right to hand that out, soldier, until I see what you're capable of. Now snap to it! Attention! Now listen up, and listen well, soldier. I led our forces from my tower, but now foul beasts have overtaken our base. They're led by Sisyphan. As foul and powerful a creature as you've ever faced. Do you hear me? I will not rest until the army's threat has passed. In this and every world. Now go and secure that perimeter and you will have your recommendation. Do you understand me, soldier? What's this? Did someone order room service? This one looks tasty. Now, that's fine work, soldier. Here's your recommendation. You've earned it. You served your country well. Dismissed. Xana hands you a letter of recommendation. You've served your unit well, soldier. Now hustle over to the Stonekeeper and report for duty there. Step lively. I'm impressed by your resourcefulness. Before too long, I'll be the one saluting you. The General's recommendation is not enough to get you what you're after, not by far. I want to see a second recommendation, and not one you can get with the wave of your wand. Go, speak with Helena Warhawk. She is our Historian Laureate, the greatest historian of Dragonspire. You'll find her within the Tower of War. I don't think anyone's interrupted my studies in years. So you want to learn about Dragonspire, do you? Knowledge does not come easy, especially in time of war. This is the Tower of War, a place where we store our knowledge of the principles of war to help you in battle. Go down the stairs behind me. Read the stories found on the bottom floor, and those should serve as the foundation for all the rest of our knowledge. Return to me when you have grasped those foundations of our war lore. King Manet united Dragonspire by moonlight, when Gavarina's flames inspired the most awe. Dragonspire's power comes from the fire tree at its center. Thus, the center has the strongest defenses. Lion challenged the council in broad daylight. The greatest treachery occurs when the sun shines. The Council of Wizards, Warriors, and King was first formed under the light of the moon to avoid spying eyes. For flames to inspire awe, it is best to attack when this shines. Dragon Spire's power and defenses center around this. Betrayal can happen at any time, even when this shines. When you need to avoid spying eyes, try to meet when this shines. The best war is won before the first spell is cast. Impressive! You've learned our ways better than any outsider ever has. I can rest easy knowing that our wisdom lives on in you. Tell the Stonekeeper you have my recommendation. Helena hands you a letter of recommendation. You're finished here. I'm more than satisfied with your efforts. If only my former students had shown such vigor in their studies. You should return to the Stonekeeper. 
I'm certain he's got more for you. Yet again, you win over one of my colleagues. If Dragon Spire Academy had a dozen students like you, this place would not lay in ruins. These statues represent Dragon Spire's greatest foes. Like a whetstone to a blade, they sharpened the skills of the warriors of Dragon Spire. We honored them with combat. You must first defeat the Grand Champion of Rydal the Indomitable. He conquered the Duchy of Sebastian and forced the Duke into rebellion. Rydal's champion made it possible. You're no match for him yet, though. You need to learn his way of combat, and for that, you need to go speak to Mavra Flamewing. So, you've come to learn the greatest of arts, the art of war. You don't look very impressive, but I'm hoping that you've got some hidden reserve of strength. I'm the master of defense here in Dragonspire. I teach the means of protection. A shield is just as much a weapon as the sword. You need to think of defensive magic as another form of attack aimed at your foe's attack. You can't rely at all on one kind of defense. A cunning enemy will switch attacks to overcome your protection. You must be quick to change tactics based on what is happening in the battle. Think of it as a game of battle ball. Your shield must always be moving to reflect back the attack. I could spend years teaching you about defense, but time is short. If you haven't grasped the basics, you're hopeless. Meet me in my tower, and we'll see what you've picked up. Don't get cocky, young wizard. You've learned the art of the attack, but what happens when you cannot land an attack on your opponent? Defense is the key to survival. Defend yourself. I'm impressed. You've got an instinct for saving your own hide. That's a good thing. Surviving a battle is the most important part. The master of defense is a harsh task, master. But if you're here now, it means you learned something. Good. You're not finished yet, though. Even the strongest warrior cannot squeeze blood from a stone, but a student who is wise can get knowledge from a statue. This statue is one of our greatest enemies, Garok Shaleheart. He and his army of Earth Elementals fought our armies to a standstill on the plain of Shattered Shields, and for that we honor him among our own. You must summon and defeat Garok's greatest champion in combat to show that you're capable of upholding the proud military tradition of Dragon Spire. Go to the crystal stand and place this crystal upon it. Concentrate for a moment. The spirit stored within it will then manifest in physical form. Excellent. He was among Garok's greatest warriors. I fought him to a standstill on the battlefield, and now you put him in his place. Though we of Dragon Spider are proud, we are not foolish. Though we prefer open and direct fights, we are not ignorant that our enemies will use magical traps to defeat us. So now, a part of the course of studies here is to learn the ways of traps. You must learn these lessons well in order to face Dronic, the Shrouded Wizard. So, you've come to learn the methods of strategic warfare. Fighting with the brain and not just your wand. I'm the master of strategy here in Dragonspire. And it's my duty to see that our students are fully versed with the means of using traps effectively in combat. Each spell you cast could be your last. So, you should make them as effective as you can. A trap makes your foe take more damage. So, why wouldn't you cast one? The ultimate goal of combat is to remove your foe from the field of battle. And the trap is a shortcut to that end. You've used traps before, I'm certain. But this is where you learn to use them well. Brace yourself. This might sting a little. You're a powerful young wizard. I'll grant you that. But let us see how you fare against one who spent his lifetime mastering the use of traps. You surprise me. I figured you'd fold like a piece of origami. Instead, you handled yourself like a warrior born. Take these lessons to heart. 
You've made it back, so apparently you've learned something. Now that you've been through strategy boot camp, it's time for your next challenge. You've yet to face our first great foe, the greatest champion of Dronic, the Shrouded Wizard's army. This very champion fought his way all the way to the throne of Dragonspire to claim it for his Lord Dronic. Show me that you will fight for Dragonspire and all it stands for. Use the skills you've been taught and defeat him. Use a crystal to summon Dronic's champion and show him what you're made of. You defeated him. I'm at a loss, actually. It took a league of Dragonspire's wizards and warriors to defeat him when he breached the throne room of Dragonspire. I did not think it possible that you could have done so much on your own, but now that I've seen your power, I think you are the one we've been waiting for. I hid the last purple stone in the lowermost vault of the Great Chasm during the Titan Army's assault. The librarian shall help you find your way. Once you've recovered it from there, bring it back and I'll activate it for you. You need to find something within the Great Chasm? Oh my! You might want to consider other options. It's rather dangerous, you know. Well, it's not my place to keep students from risking their lives, so I'll tell you what I know. Unfortunately, that's very little when it comes to the geography of the Great Chasm. I can tell you, however, that the last I heard, there was someone there who may be of help. Seek Belia Wingazer out within the Great Chasm. She'll help you find what you seek. Oh, hello. I really didn't expect to see anyone else here. What are you doing here so far from the Academy? I am Chief Vault Clerk Balia Windgazer. To be allowed access to the lower vault, <laughs> you'll first need to fill out a series of forms. I have the paperwork right here. Oh, the Stonekeeper sent you. <laughs> My pardon. His recommendation is enough for me. You should have no trouble reaching the lower vault. Someone rebuilt the bridges damaged by the raid, if you can believe it. Oh, sadly, the vault is sealed tight. The Vault Master had the only key on him when he died during the Titan Army's attack. I put in a requisition form for a new key, but no one has processed it. My hands are tied. Perhaps you should talk to Edric Scatterglove. He might know what to do. Hello. I can't talk right now. I've been trying to finish this for... Well, it's been quite a long time. Yes, I understand you're looking for something, but how important can it be? Compare it to my work, for example. I've discovered a crystal here that has stored different states of time. I don't mean to discourage you in your pursuit of, uh, well... Whatever it is that brought you here, fetch my research notes, and I'll see what I can do for you. They're in the nearby tower. I'd go myself, but I'm conducting some rather delicate experiments with this crystal. Hmm. New facets are forming as time passes. Fascinating. Those are the notes. Thank you for your assistance. Hmm. I feel foolish. I've studied this thing before. I remember now. I had nearly finished examining it when some blasted fool summoned the Dragon Titan. I'm so close to discovering its secrets. But I'll need some help here, and then I'll offer you my undivided attention. This crystal needs an energy source. Another crystal. Not only that, but a battery made from a specific type of pristine crystal. You can get them from the crystal crawlers that infest this area. Would you get one for me? Now, what good is a power source if it doesn't have any power? The pristine crystal will do as a battery, but now it needs a charge. I would do it myself if I could, believe me. I stored a charger in one of the vaults. Just tell Chief Vault Clerk Belia Windgazer that I said it was all right. I'm sure it won't take long. You want admittance into Edric Scatterglow's vault? Normally, that would require three signatures. Oh, but considering the circumstances... 
Here is the key to Edric Scatterglow's vault. No signature required. Get Edric Scatterglow's charger from Vault D on Floor 8. You'll have to pass a few security measures, so be careful. And please, return the key afterwards. I'm responsible for it. That didn't take long. I suppose our security isn't as foolproof as we once thought. Go tell Edric Scatterglow that you found the charger. That's it. That battery is ready for use. I can't tell you how long I've waited for this. Please, young wizard, put the charge crystal into the mechanism. Don't worry, this is science. What could possibly go wrong? The crystal shimmers and begins displaying images from past, present, and future, all colliding together. A portal seems to form in the center. It's... it's amazing! I can see fragments of the past and the future, all at once arrayed with crystal precision. What a sight! I never could have accomplished this without you. Speaking of time, it's certainly time for me to help you. So, what can I do for you? You need the Vault Keeper to give you a portal stone, is that it? Mm, I'm afraid you're out of luck. The Vault Keeper is long dead. Perhaps if you'd come here much, much earlier... Wait a moment. I've got it! This mysterious time crystal might just be able to send you back in time! Before the Vault Keeper died, you could ask him for the key yourself. Of course it sounds crazy, but do you have a better idea? Then think of the Vault Keeper and touch the crystal. The crystal should also bring you back. You there! What are you doing? Why aren't you in hiding? Aren't you aware the Dragon Titan is attacking? His army is tearing Dragon Spire apart! Don't just stand around there. Get useful! Help me seal the vaults. If we don't, they'll loot our treasures and we'll have nothing left. Take these keys and lock the vaults. Wait, you'll need to repair the breaches in order to reach them. I'll try to find help. Let's start. We've got the chance now. It looks like the bridge will hold, but we're not out of the cauldron yet. Meet me down at the last vault. The Titan army is coming. You made it. Maybe we have a... Lords of Light. Hold back that creature while I lock the final vault. Thank you. There's something strange about you. You're not from here, are you? Please, take this vault key away from the city. I must stay to keep the army from the vaults. You're back. Have you found the key? Oh my goodness. You got the vault key. Please, I don't want to know how you came across it. Our rules may seem foolish and complex to you, but they've protected us for years. Head down to Vault 1933 for that portal stone. I'm certain that the stone will be safe in your hands. Who dares trespass in this place? I cannot allow any to enter this vault. You will not leave here alive. Wait, I know you. You helped me save the portal stone. If you need the stone now, then it must be for a good reason. Take the portal stone to the end of the street. You should be able to enter the next ring of Dragon Spire. Go, with my blessings. You've got what you came for, then. Thank you so much for your assistance. Your timing was perfect. Now that you've got a portal stone, you need to take it to the Stonekeeper in the Plaza of Conquests. Oh, I wish you the best in whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Good work. You found yourself a portal stone. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. 
Now that you have acquired a portal stone, it must be attuned to you. This is an easy enough process and takes little time. Go to the giant crystal in the center of this room and place your portal stone against it. This will attune you to the portal stone. You hold the portal stone against the giant crystal and feel it become attuned to you. It tickles a little bit. Congratulations! You now have a portal stone and can travel to the necropolis as you choose. With that portal stone, you can now go through the Grand Gate and into the Ring of Battle. Proceed up the road to the necropolis. Excellent work. You've gained access to the next ring. Events are proceeding as planned. I have interesting news. My brother cared deeply for his wife, Sylvia Drake, so much so that he brought her body with him to Dragonspire and entombed her within the Necropolis. You must venture forth to the Necropolis and find her remains. The path of the hero is not as glamorous as you thought, hmm? Take this knowledge crystal. Find her tomb and use the crystal there. It will store her spirit within. Then, you must return the crystal to me, and I will take the necessary next steps. Malister, is that you? Have you come for me? It's so cold here, so dark, and I'm so alone. You're not my Malister. What have you done to him? I won't harm him! You'll never get me to betray my beloved husband! You capture Sylvia's spirit within the Knowledge Crystal. As you trap her spirit, a strange badge falls to the ground. Her wraith-like form takes on solidity and color. Soon, Sylvia Drake appears as she did while alive. A wraith? I... I'm shocked! I could never imagine you would do that to her! Though Cyrus seems almost at a loss for words, he quickly takes the knowledge crystal from you. This was not my preferred choice, but it may yet prove useful. You've done well. You found a badge when you trapped her spirit? Ah, this explains a few things. Here, let me see that badge. Cyrus whispers a spell and passes his wand over the badge, then hands it back to you. Now the ring facility should function normally for you. I've discovered something more significant about Dragonspire. Within the innermost ring is an academy, and only students of the Dragonspire Academy may enter that ring. Go now to the Necropolis and see if you can discover a means of becoming a student of Dragonspire Academy. Think of it as a student exchange. Welcome to Dragonspire Academy. I see you wear the prospective badge. Congratulations for taking the first steps to become a student at Dragonspire Academy. To begin your trial of admittance to the innermost ring, you should visit the Dragon Master in the hatchery and learn all that you can about Drakes. Who are you? You're clearly not part of the Titan Army. Oh, you're still here? Hmm. You probably want to get powerful in a hurry, just to like the others. Well, guess what? The Titan army destroyed everything and took all the books about the ways of the Drake. I can't teach you much without my books, can I? If only some of them still existed. How about this? If you go and defeat the Titan army, you can recover those stolen books, bring them back, and I'll teach you the ways of the Drake. Oh, it looks like you found some of the books. Apparently the Titan army isn't as tough as they seemed. You didn't get all of the books, though. These only cover the behavior and temperament of drakes. Dragons are violent and dangerous, and drakes will be friendly if treated well. Everyone knows that. You're still eager to learn? 
Hmm, you've certainly nothing like my past students. If only we had more books. Wait a moment. I have an idea. Throughout the hatchery are statues of the greatest drakes from our history. Go to see each of the drake statues and read the inscriptions on the pedestals. These tell about their history. You can come back and tell me what you've learned. Gavarina was often called the first drake. She accepted Mene as her rider, and together they founded the Kingdom of Dragonspire. Lenneth the Great's victory in the Outer Ring ended the 100-year Dragon War and brought peace to Dragonspire. Eliana earned renown when she held off an entire legion alone and helped unseat Aldered the Usurper. You learned about them all? Excellent! Many who wish to become Dragon Riders fail to recognize they can do nothing without the Drakes. So, you've learned some things. But don't think you know everything. You haven't even learned about the Dragon Riders. Tomar Skyblade once lived in a tower just down the way, not far from here. Go to the tower and see if you can learn more about him there. A student? I suppose you're here to learn about becoming a Dragon Rider. Ah, the glory and the power of riding a Drake. There's nothing like it. The wind rushing past your face, the rustle of wings, and the wash of heat when they breathe fire. Always guide your drake with a firm hand, but remember always that you are partners. Don't let it go to your head. What? He actually spoke with you? Well, I... I am amazed. He's never had a word to say to me. I suppose, since Tomar Skyblade actually spoke with you, it makes sense you'll want to speak with his drake. The Dragon Master sighs dramatically, but you can tell he's excited. The spirit of Kimrith Windhammer, Tomar Skyblade's drake, still lives on, imbued within a crystal inside another tower nearby. Go seek him out, and hurry back with what you have learned. Hello, young wizard. No one has spoken with me in a very long time. I fought in many great battles with Dragon Rider Skyblade. Nothing from those times but dim memories remain. You spoke with Tomar. I have not seen him in so long. If you could, go and ask him for my reins. Having those once more would bring back the good old days. Kimmerit Windhammer wants his reins. A bit odd, but understandable. Unfortunately, I no longer have them. Perhaps the Dragon Master knows where they are kept now. Dragon Rider Skyblade and Kimrith the Drake both want my help? How can I refuse? Before the attack, we kept the Drake's reins in a museum. If the reins survived, the Collector would have taken them. You really want to pass Drake studies? Defeat the Collector and bring me those reins. You found them! Those reins should go to Kimmerith Windhammer now. What are you waiting for? Go take them to the Drake. My reins, you have found them. Thank you ever so greatly. I am pleased to see those old reins as they bring back so many memories of flying with Skyblade. Now if you could, I would like to see Skyblade himself. Please take my crystal to his tower so I can see him again. Dragon Rider Skyblade. It is Kimmerith Windhammer here in this crystal. I brought your old reins. My thanks to this young wizard who made it possible. 
Well met, Kimrit Windhammer. Ah, it has been too long, and, and I have missed you greatly. Y you see, young wizard, it is never quite clear who holds the reins when you are a dragon rider. Thank you for reuniting me with my oldest, dearest friend, Kimrith. You reunited them? That's amazing! You are truly a great friend to the Dragon Riders. My thanks to you. I had forgotten what it was like to have a good student, to feel like a teacher again. Tell the Crystal Guide that I hereby give you a passing grade with honors in Drake Studies. Passing grade confirmed. Excellent work. Next, you must complete a course in Dragonspire history to gain acceptance into the Academy. Please report to Zanetta Stormbreaker in the Crucible to begin your lessons. Vagabond! Be gone at once! Oh my pardon! You're not here to defile the knowledge crystals! You're a prospective student! Oh hurrah! The joy of learning is born anew! It is a pity I have nothing to teach you with. The crystals of knowledge have been vandalized by the Titan army. Uh, perhaps there is a way. <laughs> Here's your first test then. A field trip. Defeat the Maniscale sorcerers and bring back the knowledge crystals they've taken. We'll see how brave you are. Wonderful! Oh, you're quite brave, you know. I've rarely seen such dedication in a student. Now we can begin your education in earnest. Long ago, the scholars of Dragonspire learned the art of storing their knowledge within crystals. These crystals form our libraries and represent the total of all of our stored knowledge. You are quite privileged to have access to them, young wizard. For your first lesson, you should learn the history of Dragonspire. Place a knowledge crystal on the crystal pedestal to hear its words. The crystal flickers to bright life. Dragonspire first grew powerful when King Manet tamed the first drake. It later became a place of knowledge with the creation of the first knowledge crystal. Kilgore the Magnificent ended the Hundred Year Dragon War by defeating a mighty black dragon. The secret of how he did this was lost to time. Since that time, Dragon Spire has preserved the knowledge and souls of our greatest heroes in eternal crystal. Excellent. You have learned the importance of knowledge crystals to Dragon Spire. However, you have only scratched the surface of true power. You've proven yourself worthy of learning our traditions. Our culture is based on knowledge and warfare. The nobles of Dragonspire sent their children to this academy to become soldiers and sorcerers. Because we are a warlike people, our education requires trial by combat. To complete the next lesson, you must succeed in battle against five of the spirits of our ancestors. To begin the first of these combats, you must retrieve the Crystal of Justice from the shelf. Place it on the first pedestal to issue your battle challenge. You retrieve the Crystal of Justice. I am Iona Pyrelance. I battled my way past the guards of King Betren and won the knowledge crystals that saved my world. Because of me, many have learned the knowledge once reserved for kings. Show me, students, whether you will fight for knowledge. You have proven you are willing to fight for knowledge. If only the professors of Dragonspire had learned this lesson. What? Iona 
us said that the Dragon Spy professors had something to learn. She must have been someone else, right? Hmm. Let's see if you truly appreciate what I have to offer you. The Crystal of Battle was taken by Orin Greencaster during the raids. I fought to retrieve it from Orin Greencaster's tower nearby, but the Titan itself stopped me. You should have an easy time of things. Show your true strength as a warrior and recover the Crystal of Battle from Greencaster. You have made a terrible mistake coming here, living one. These crystals are mine to treasure, mine to keep. You get my crystal when you pry it out of my gold. Undead hands. You retrieve the crystal of battle. You've recovered it. You've done quite well for yourself, but I have my doubts you'll be able to master the Crystal of Battle. You have mastered it. Place the Crystal of Battle on the pedestal, and we'll see where you stand. I am Katya Firewinter. I battled Eldred the Usurper when he used the power of the Knowledge Crystals to unseat the King. I formed the Council of Wizards, Warriors, and King to prevent anyone who was unworthy from using the Crystals again. Unfortunately, this proved to be our undoing. Nevertheless, the old lesson must continue. Battle me, student, to pass my test. You have fought bravely. You are the one we feared would come. The one we need to set things right. What madness is this? Who would need the power of a student? That is crazy. Perhaps the Titan army has tampered with the crystals. Do not worry this time about the Titan army's tampering, young wizard. We are fortunate in that the next crystal has remained safely in story. Go find the Crystal of Honor where it's stored, place it on the third pedestal, and begin your third lesson. Have you forgotten what I asked? You must retrieve the Crystal of Honor from storage and place it on the third pedestal. You retrieve the Crystal of Honor. I am Valeric Brightsword. I defeated the Council Wizard Kildare. He had been corrupted by the Elder Crystal. That crystal contained the Usurper's soul. Prove to me that you are above the influence of liars and leaders. Defeat me in fair battle to pass this lesson. You show admirable promise as a student. One of our students warned us about the Elder Crystal, but we did not listen. Sadly, we learn nothing from that mistake. Valeric Brightsword thought his mistake was that he should have listened to a student. <laughs> but how would a student know anything of use? I've never seen the souls within the crystal say such things, but I know the crystal of defense is untouched, since I have kept it close to me. Only the most elite students have ever seen it. Place it on the fourth pedestal and pass the test. I am placing my trust in you. I am Rorik Flame Soul. I defeated Challenger Lion in an open duel in front of the Council of Wizards, Warriors, and King. I was the only wizard ever to defeat a warrior in straight combat. Pass my test, and you can defend yourself against anyone. Our duel proves you've learned much in your time here. My fellow wizards learned only to fear threats to their power, and so they doomed Dragonspire. You have fought well. Clearly, the spirits of our heroes wish to teach you something I have never learned. I don't know what the spirits want to say to you, but I have come to the realization that I shouldn't underestimate you just because you're a student. Let me help you complete the final lesson. 
I saw the raids destroy the last knowledge crystal, but I have a solution. We create a new one. You will need an empty knowledge crystal from the vault in the Grand Chasm. The vault clerk will help you find one. Return to me when you have it. Ah, young wizard. Nice to see you. You need an empty knowledge crystal? According to my records, such as they are, you can find one in vaults here in Grand Chasm. Take this key and be careful. I don't know what is down there these days. You found the crystal we need. An empty knowledge crystal won't do us much good without a spirit stored inside it. I know just the spirit. One of our greatest heroes died during the Great Raid, and we buried him within the necropolis. His name was Boris Blackrock, the Lord Obsidian. Though he fought like none other could against the Titan, he was one of the first to fall. We were able to give Boris Blackrock a hero's burial in the necropolis before the war ended. And we gave him the title of Lord Obsidian. I am certain he will want to help us again. Go to the necropolis and use the empty knowledge crystal on the tomb of Lord Obsidian, where Boris Blackrock is buried. His spirit will live on within the crystal, and he will guide us. A tendril of light moves within the crystal as it is imbued with the spirit of Lord Obsidian. Incredible! Few students have ever imbued a knowledge crystal, and you did it with so little coaching. Now we have our crystal of the hero. Are you ready? You will now face Boris Blackrock, the Lord Obsidian, our greatest hero from the battle with the Titan army. No student of Dragonspire has ever undertaken this lesson. Go now and place the crystal of the hero upon the last pedestal. I am Boris Blackrock, the Obsidian Golem. The Council trained me to defend the wizard's knowledge from the warriors. When the wizard summoned the Titan, I alone had the knowledge to fight it. I met it in battle, and though I fought bravely and with great skill, it was not enough. My body was destroyed. When I fell, so did Dragonspire. Defeat me, and you show yourself to be Dragonspire's greatest hero. You have fought as none other. I salute you as the hero of Dragonspire. Rarely have I learned a more profound lesson than my students. But that is just what has happened. You have opened my eyes to my past mistakes and shown me the truth. I am eternally grateful to you, young wizard. You have learned and accomplished a great deal. More than I could have ever imagined an outsider accomplishing. I hereby grant you the highest passing grade, which provides you with full membership in the Dragon Spire Academy. It is our custom that the Dean of Admissions will present a new student with an Academy Portal Stone. Go see if you can find such a stone within the Dean's Tower. Yes, yes, what is it? Oh, of course, you must be looking for the Dean. You won't find him here, though. I'm the Dean's assistant, and I am embarrassed to admit that I have no idea where he's gone. Come to think of it, he's been gone for quite some time. Maybe the Librarian knows where he is. You're actually looking for the Dean of Admissions? Oh dear, it seems that no one has told you this sad news. Getting to see the Dean of Admissions is next to impossible, I'm afraid. You see, he was directly involved with summoning the Dragon Titan that destroyed Dragonspire. 
After he had the professors kidnapped and began the summoning ritual, we stopped him and placed him in the labyrinth. That was before the attack began. Now there's not much more harm he can do, so you're free to go see him in the labyrinth if you like. I was responsible for keeping the labyrinth key, so here you go. Milos hands you the key to the labyrinth. Good luck getting that portal stone.